guys, JH. Okay, guys, it's going to be sort of a wham bam, thank you, ma'am, a video today. It's about 50 60 k's of wind here, it's just brutal. But something I have to have to get on video today, and I just hope that doesn't blow my camera over. Just hold on a sec. I'm just going to try and prop it up. The wind's coming down really strongly. And just put something up beside it to stop it falling over, hopefully. Sorry, guys, totally disorganised. Okay. Okay, guys, now I've got some really good stuff relative to, to what you need to do in the, what we call the sad swing, the shift and drive. Now, guys, it's very much about a shift. Now, I just want to explain to you the difference between a shift and just a redistribution of weight. If we're at this position here, at address, we keep our head totally fixed, and we just turn our shoulders, all we've done is just redistribute the weight. We haven't moved it. We haven't shifted it at all. We've just turned it. What I want to do is move the mass. Move the mass and then get the mass re-establishing itself and, and moving again in another direction. It's hard to understand that we're just distributing weight when we've got a fixed centre at the back of our spine as opposed to shifting from, from this position here into a trail vertical axis. And, that, and that's what a shift is, guys. The sad swing, shift and drive, SAD. Now, guys, in order to let you shift easily and give you some clues, one of the things that makes it easier to shift is this. Two things. If you just let your head move on the backswing, to watch this. If I've got a fixed spine and my head is there and I don't move it, I just turn, very hard to turn. Now, even with a fixed spine, if I just move my head, see how it frees up? The upper spine and the turn. Now you don't have to keep your head fixed in place, you just don't have to do it. I'm convinced of that. The power I'm getting out of my shots now guys is off the scale. For an old dude it's just crazy. Now the other thing that helps us get into that trail axis which is where we want to go, we want to get all this, see this lead shoulder? I want to put that lead shoulder outside my uh, trail knee. I want to do this. That's what I want to feel. I want to feel, whoa, that big, whoa. I don't do that because this doesn't break down like that. But, it, but being able to get over there easier, just do this simple thing. Just flare that trail foot way out. Because I'll tell you what, guys, when the foot is dead in line there, it locks up the rotation of that trail leg. I can't rotate that trail hip or that trail leg or that trail hip. As soon as I turn that out, look, it's just so easy. And what it happens is that by having it out, the leg augurs itself. It doesn't go sideways. If you've got this brace here and you're trying to turn against it, sometimes you'll push like that. But if the leg can just turn, and it will when you've got your foot out like that, it's just so easy to keep it in place. So we're really getting the feeling of the big shift over there. Huge shift into that side there. I haven't hit a shot, guys, but watch this. And I'm dead cold. Big workout in the gym. Mondays are always big today, so I'm stiff as a crutch, as we say here. Look at that foot. It's out there. Just going to get... And I'm going to put this shoulder over here. That's all I'm thinking about. I want to go as a feeling. Now watch this, guys. First shot of the day. <laughs> oh, baby. As Jack Ham would say, baby. That is just five iron, guys. That's just blistered. And we've got 50k wind into us. And it's just ripped a hole in it. And it's just so strong and straight. But if you hear the impact today with all the, with all the noise going on, you probably won't with all the wind. But I've got to, got to tell you, guys, that is just flush city. Now, the other simplistic thing is... To get our drive on the downswing, what do we, how do we get the drive on the downswing? Um, 
How are you, mate? I'll, I'll be about 15 minutes. Um, to get the drive on the downswing, guys, we can use... I want to use that trail foot. I want to drive off that trail foot. But what will help that, guys, is just this lead shoulder. We're going to get the lead shoulder over here in the shift. In the downswing, I want to put the trail shoulder over here. <laughs> and I want to have that lead foot squared out as well, uh, flared out. Because what that does, guys, is that lets that, that lead hip really turn in behind us here and gives us a great brace to hit against. It just lets it turn, because if you've got it squared up, it'll come in here and it'll lock up, and it just won't let that hip turn enough through the ball. The more, so we're basically duck-footed at a dress. That's where we want to be. So we're just going to take that lead shoulder, going to play our feet, up, let our head move. We're going to just, we've got our elbows up. We're going to go over here, the lead shoulder over here. And then I'm just going to replace that lead shoulder with the trail shoulder and the drive of the trail foot. Now guys, this is, a, this is turbo time. There's a real lot of power in this, huge amount of power. I've picked up a, a full club and a bit with my irons, and I think with my driver, probably 20 yards in the air. And today, probably more. I mean, I'm just, so I'm duck footed. I'm just gonna let my head go back. I'm gonna put that shoulder over here. I feel like that shoulder's outside my right foot. And then I'm gonna drive that right, that trail shoulder over here, past that lead foot as a feeling. Okay, flare the feet out, elbows up. Oh, guys, what's really interesting is because I'm compressing that ball so much, I'm just spinning it so much. Really, I would probably have to get some irons with very low lofts now because I'm really spinning the ball. It's just climbing because I'm really compressing it. You can hear that sound, guys. We call this swing the sad swing, S-A-D, but it's far from sad. You don't, you're not sad when you're hitting a ball like this. So turn those feet out. Just want to feel that. Feel that. Feel that. You won't do that, but feel that. And then just get that, um, that, 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 that trail shoulder and, that, and drive off the trail foot. Come on. Guys, I've never hit the ball like that since I was when I first started playing. That's the power I used to have when I first started playing. And it's all come back. It's only because over the years I've lost that shift. And it was only from a good buddy telling me that I'd lost that shift and to go back to it, I would never have found it again. That power into that wind, guys, is ridiculous. That five iron's going the normal distance, I think, from a five iron into a... It's at least 45 k's, might be 50 k's. It just doesn't seem to be affecting it. Toe that... Splay. I feel like Charlie Chaplin. I had to get this on video today, guys. So get it, let the head move. Wow. And let your head move on the downswing. Don't lock it in position, just let it roll. I, I said to Mo Norman, it was very interesting. I said, Mo, do you ever, do you actually see the ball hit? He said, never seen it hit. He said, I'm just aware of it. I don't focus on it, I'm just aware of it. That was interesting from the, <laughs> the world's best ball striker. It was amazing. He said, no, 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 I don't actually look at it. I just, I'm just aware of where it is. Just check that audio. Yeah, that's good. Guys, these are bullets, and my buddy's here over there having a look. He's just going, what's going on? Watch this, guys. Come on, big shift. Get those elbows up. Let the head move. Look at this, guys. Look. Look at that. This is an old dude. That doesn't look like an old dude's body, does it? And all I've done is I've, I've unlocked the mobility that, I, that, I, that I've still got, that I've been suppressing by having this foot locked here, in like that, and just turning around a fixed neck. It's so windy. Come on, JH, come on. Big shift. 
turn into the trough and let the head go then just get that trail shoulder across shift and see guys the club never wraps over can't believe how good those shots are wow come on come on let it go George. shift big shift see this trail shoulder how far it's getting over here Tra lead, lead shoulders getting over here get the trail shoulder over um, over to the uh, past the lead knee as a feeling and if that's there guys that'll happen you get that hip turning out of the way okay come on Jay. let the free the head up shift so windy God, blowing my cap off it's just brilliant they're not moving I mean <laughs> this is a hurricane and they're not moving those shots none they're just boring holes in the wind a and wearing out the center of the golf club come on and this is a dead cold swing guys haven't hit any balls till the ones you saw today come on let that head turn turn into that hip clubs here guys it's not over here it's not over here can't believe the height I'm getting well it's because the spin is so high because I'm really crunching it I would with this golf swing I'd have to really go up and I will I'll have to go up much stiffer in my shafts and knock the loft down a little bit because I'm just getting so much crunch on the ball come on so we're doing this guys elbows are up connected here just let the head move let, let that trail leg turn what's interesting guys is the knee will follow the toe wherever the toe is pointed the knee will rotate to that's just an anatomical given it'll just do that if it's there the knee won't go anywhere if it's there the knee will chase the toe so you get more you get more range of motion in your hip and that's the thing that's held me back for ages. I'm not trying to keep my head steady or anything. Just let me see. I feel like I'm going off the ball like that. I'm not, clearly not. But I'm shifting my weight. Shift. Come on, Jay. Shift. It's just fantastic. All right, now really drive off the right foot and drive that right shoulder over where the lead shoulder used to be. Come on. Come on. See how, how far I'm getting through the ball. And I'm not looking at the ball at all. Not the slightest. I'm not trying to keep my head steady or anything. All right, we'll just slow it down now and we'll have some nice rhythm. Nice rhythm. Come on, big shift but a slow shift. Come on, James. I just feel a lot of freedom in my hips now, guys. Fantastic. Hitting into this crosshead wind and having the ball go that straight. Come on, just let the head move, let everything move. Big shift. Can you hear that, guys? Can you hear that? Now, there's a tree up there that normally I would be hitting hybrid to with my old swing. That five iron almost got to that tree into the wind. Just crazy stuff crazy stuff okay big shift turn that Charlie Chaplin here come on let the head move big shift that's the best shot I've ever hit in my life ever 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 
Wow. And the amazing thing is, guys, at my age, to be able to hit that shot. And to think, J8, that's as good a shot you've ever hit. And you can really continue on as long as your health stays good. No reason why you can't do that for another 10 years. Come on, Jays. Big shift. I'm just letting it all move, guys. Big shift. Look at this, guys. Look. It's just wonderful feeling. You know what's wonderful? <laughs> no miss hits. And I'm not even looking at the ball. No miss hits. Come on, guys. Come on. Last shot. Come on. Okay, so the story is, flare your feet out because that'll let you have more internal rotation of your hip. And not only that, guys, if that hip internally rotates, you can't go that way while you're internally rotating. But if you've got your foot straight ahead, you can go, you can buttress up against that and you get outside. And that's the sway. This is not a sway. This is a shift in weight rotationally and diagonally. That's what it is. So we've got the feet out. We want them both out. Swing thought. Put this shoulder outside the trail, trail leg here as a feeling. Downswing, put this shoulder outside the front leg. And drive with the trail foot as well at the same time. Okay, last hit. A lot of flare. Come on. Big shift. You know when I said that other shot was the best I've ever hit? That's... This is almost like I've been possessed by the demon of good golf swings. Because I can't hit it that good. I've never hit it that good. I've never ever hit the ball with that ball flight or that power, ever in my life. And that's just, wow. The demon of good golf swings has just jumped inside my body. And guys, the wind is so strong. Don't blow the camera over. Please don't blow the camera. Come on. Okay, last shot. Last shot, come on, big shift. Biggest shift you can make. Look at this guys and the wind is that ball is 120 feet in the air. I'll show you some shots down range tomorrow if the weather can't now because hitting down it just I just can't do it at the moment because the, the wind is going to just kill the camera. Okay one more shot. See if I can do a maximum shift. Come on. Not worried about my head, just let it go. Look at this, guys, look. Can you hear that? Oh, this is, this is, this is intoxicating. This is like, oh, oh. come on, don't blow it over. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll call it quits here, but I just wanted to get this, I'm going to blow the camera over. I just want to, wanted to give you a lowdown, quick, quick lowdown. Flare those feet out. Put this shoulder outside the trail leg as a feeling. Here, get this shoulder outside the lead leg there drive off drive off that trail foot at the same time and don't worry about your head just let your head move let it move now tomorrow I'll show you a little bit of add to this imagine if we did this in the golf swing or if we did this in the golf swing imagine if we did that We'll never do that, but basically, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to do that. We're trying to get as much mass as we can. We want to get disconnected on the lead side with as much mass, get as much mass as we can without doing that. Okay, come on. Okay, guys, it's so windy, but those shots are beautiful. Okay, I'll give you a lot more tomorrow. I'm sorry it was rushed, but I had to get that on camera today. So the flared foot, let the head rotate. Lead shoulder outside the trail knee. Trail shoulder outside the lead knee. Drive. Let the head rotate. I'll let everything rotate with this shot. I'll do an Annika Sorenstam or a David Duval type shot. One more. Come on. Everything just rotates. Look at this, guys. Look at this. 
you can't believe that okay guys that'll do us because the weather's terrible uh, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll I'll do something more formalized and, and give you some protocols starting to build the protocols now very exciting times guys that power is like you can't believe can't wait <laughs> can't wait to get some drivers on that I just can't believe it okay guys great times tomorrow